In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how we spent $5 a day and generated over $1,500 in only two weeks. Hey guys, it's Moy from Mo Digital, and we teach people exactly how you guys can generate crazy results for your clients using powerful messenger chatbots. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how we spent $5 a day and generated over $1,500 in only two weeks. So now we're going to go into my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how we've done this. So as you guys can see here, um, this is the ad that we created for the ice cream place. Um, it basically says, having a birthday this week, your free birthday ice cream is on the house. To claim your free birthday ice cream during the week of your birthday, click send message below and we'll send you your coupon immediately right in Messenger. This is valid for the next five days only. As you guys can see, this picture is very, it pops out. There's a lot of things that pop out here, like the ice cream, the text, especially here, free ice cream. So if someone has their birthday coming up and they see something like this, then they're obviously very likely to jump on it and be like, I want this free ice cream because it just looks like such a such a deal. So down the bottom, we say here, click here to get your free ice cream. We have the arrows. So someone can click the um, send message button. Also, there's another feature we can do where you can also say in here that, um, so it says click send message below and we'll send you a free ice cream. You can say click send message below or comment down below your favorite flavor and we'll automatically send you your coupon immediately. So as you guys can see, because some people commented here and they they basically, they were able to get the same message that someone got if they click send message. But some people get confused, so you need to make sure you give them two options just so the people that can get confused don't miss out on the deal. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how someone goes through this in the Facebook Messenger. All right, so this is how it all looks in Facebook Messenger. I'm just gonna type in the word birthday just because this is an example purpose. But as soon as someone clicks send message, they don't need to type in birthday. As soon as they click onto the send message button, they will get a message like this saying happy birthday. And it's gonna say their name at the bottom as you guys can see. It's very, very customized towards the user. And obviously it looks very pretty, very colorful, very professional. Now the first message, the first message you're gonna get is, okay, Molly, what is the best email to use so I can send you your birthday gift? Click your email below or respond with your best email. Now, this is my email that I'm putting through other pages. I'm gonna that's gonna be blurred out at the moment, but they could click onto this one here or they can input their email down below. I'm gonna look at example one, two, three at hotmail.com. They put in their email, and once they put in their email, they get asked, okay, Moe, again, okay, first name, what's your best contact number? So we can send your voucher via text. Click your phone number below or just enter your best phone number. Again, there will be gonna be a phone number here if they put into another page. But I haven't, so let's just say my phone number is plus six one four um, uh, two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay, that's the number. I put that in. It was gonna ask me, okay, first name, okay, Molly. Let's just confirm everything. Your email and phone are example one two three at com, and phone number is the phone number I put in. Correct. I can say yes, correct, or I can say change my email, or I can say change my phone. Now, if I click either one of these here, it's gonna ask me, okay, what is your correct email? And then I re put my email in, and then he sends me the same message here, but it just replaces the, the email part, okay? But just for this video, as, as I wanna make it quick, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna say yes or correct. It's gonna ask me, okay, awesome first name, is this the first time visiting the, the shop name? So here, this part here will be, you guys will put it as a shop name. So is your first time visiting, let's just say, um, Johnny Ice Cream. Let's first time visiting Johnny Ice Cream. I can say yes, first time, no, I've been before. Let's just say yes, it's my first time being there. Now, this all this information is getting tracked. And I'm going to show you guys an Excel spreadsheet how all this information is important. And you guys can show this to the client if they're getting first time customers or if they're getting existing customers. So it shows the kind of audience you're bringing in. So it's going to say, okay, Moe, which is okay, first name again. Final question, what is your birthday? Please enter a valid date below, like June the 10th or May 24. Date only, no year required. As you guys can see, you don't put in the year here. So my birthday is actually on April 12th. So I'm gonna put in APR 12 like that. Okay, it's gonna send me a message saying April 12th, is that your correct birthday? I can say, yep, I can say no, I'll try again. When I say no, I'll try again, it's gonna say, okay, Moe, what is your what is your birthday? I'll put it in again. So I say yes. Now it's gonna send you a message saying, thank you for that, Maui. Here's your voucher. We can't wait for you to come with us. We can't wait for you to come celebrate with us. So we'll go back to that. Now there's gonna be two buttons up here. It's gonna say, get directions or call us. Now on, on PC, these, these buttons don't work as well. But if you guys can see on, on the side of the screen on top of me, there's a phone and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this looks on phone. So if I could get directions on phone, you guys can see that the address, okay, whatever, continue. The address will automatically uh, pick up. Okay, where, where, where it needs to go. If I go on to, if I go on to call us, 
I've got airplane mode now on, but say I didn't have airplane mode on, it would have airplane mode on, it will show me the, the it will go to the, the phone screen and it will put it up automatically, ready for, ready for me to give them a call. So that's very, very, you know, quick and easy for someone that wants to maybe see where they're located or give them a call to do whatever. Now, this part here is the birthday gift terms and conditions. Now, the fact that the, the ice cream place or any business is giving away something for free, they need a, some, some way to recoup some money back or make some kind of money because, I mean, if they're going to give everyone a free ice cream, then it doesn't really make sense. So this is where the terms and conditions come into play. And obviously, if someone's going to come in and get, you've got to make it clear that, hey, you can come in for a birthday, but you can't get, like, say, five scoops or six scoops. This is where you say here, the first terms and condition is you need you up to two ice cream scoops only, basically. So you can't get any more than two if you're if you're the birthday person. Um, you need to show a, your, your voucher is only valid for two weeks after your birthday. So this kind of makes people rush and kind of come in quickly and it increases the conversion rate because people don't let it off and be like, oh, I'll come in after a month and eventually they forget about it. It shows them, hey, two weeks only, you need to come in or else you won't be able to get it. You need to also be able to prove it's your birthday in the past two weeks. So it's just very simple, you know, show, show some ID. Uh, that's over and done with just to prove that it is your birthday um you need to tag along with at least one friend now so this way the business is kind of also like i said recouping some money they can recoup some money because it's two free ice cream scoops say i come in and i want to get five ice cream scoops so they'll make money on the three ice cream three ice cream scoops i put in because i get two for free and then i also bring in my friend he brings he has at least say three ice cream scoops so you guys can see how money can be made from this and it's not just directly a free ice cream being given away but from the back end it's building a customer base and they're being able to make some money in return so it's a win-win situation. So it just says, yeah, just show the voucher to claim your birthday gift. So this is the voucher here. Again, very professional, very neat, very easy to read, and very personalized towards the user. Once again, it says my first name here. If my first name was John, whatever it is, it's going to put my first name here. Like I said, put my first name here, and it also put my first name here. So then it's going to give you the address. So this is just an example address we put in. You guys are going to put an address for the business that you're working with. When you're ready to claim your birthday voucher, just have one of our staff members at the, the shop name. Click the redeem ice, the redeem free ice cream button down below. So, people might click this button. Now, the whole purpose of this is people click this button. Okay, this is how people redeem it. Basically, they click onto this button, and then it gives them a message saying, "Warning: Are you sure you want to redeem your birthday gift now? If you if you do not want to redeem your birthday gift now, then don't click the button below. Your birthday voucher must be redeemed at the business name located at address." So the reason why we put this message here, we have the three alarm signs, it pops out, as you guys can see, on phone, right on top of me, it pops out the warning with the three emojis, is because a lot of people click this button while they're sitting on their couch. So they go, they go through this flow, and then they're on their couch, and they just click, yes, I want to redeem it. But the whole point of this is they need to click this while they're in store, because when they click this now again, they won't be able to redeem it again. So say they click this at home, here, they click this part now at home, they go in store to show that, oh, they need a birthday, they got to click it. They got, they got to click it in front of the staff there. It won't let them get the birthday again because it shows they've already redeemed it. So this is basically how we track if someone's redeemed the birthday ice cream or not. So that's why we send them a, a warning message. If they're in store, obviously they see this warning message. Yes, I am in store. Yes, I want to redeem it now because some people would fully understand it. Some people don't really understand it full on. So we make sure we give them another message. Say I'm in store. I click again. Yes, redeem now. And now it's going to ask me how much money have you spent. So this is how we're able to track. And again, I'll show you guys in Excel spreadsheet how you're able to track how much money the business has been able to make from your campaigns or the type of um, marketing campaigns you guys have been running for them. So he says, okay, first name. What is the total amount spent? Please enter the number below. Example 3620. So say again, I need to say say for example I got two free scoops and I added another three scoops on that. So I got five scoops all up, but I paid for three. So I spent say nine dollars, and also the one friend that I bought bought five scoops and he spent another say fifteen dollars. So all up say it's eighteen dollars twenty. Because you guys want to make sure that. You guys bought the business thing from the birthday person, so the, the check is all one. It's from, from the birthday person and also from the friend that spent. It's not just from the birthday person, you need to add it up for two people, because again, you guys bought in the business for the person, the birthday person, and also the friend. So it's all a one, it's all one um, amount, okay? All one amount. Now it says awesome Moi, which is awesome first name. We hope you enjoyed your birthday gift at shop the shop name, which you guys need to put. Stay tuned for more VIP offers. Now, as you guys can see, this is also like, like I said, very very quick, very easy, very professional, very customized towards the customer. And I'm going to show you guys if someone tries to go through this again, it won't it won't let them. So let me just quickly let's just say I see the ad again. I click send message. Okay, this is again I put this in for example. It's going to say, "Hey, my way, it looks like you've already registered for your birthday gift, so I can't redeem it again. I can't I can't go through the flow again." Also, if I say say I go into the store again to try and get my birthday gift a second time, I click yes redeem now. It's going to send me a message saying, sorry, Moe, it looks like you've already redeemed your birthday gift. So that way, as you guys can see, it's fully bulletproof and no one can really go through this message, go through this flow twice in a way. Now, as I showed you guys before, when I showed you guys here, 
that if you put in someone can say send message or they can comment down below and if they comment say their favorite flavor they get the same flavor because some people here will comment when we didn't ask them to so that that's fine that's all right because what we can do as well is i'm going to show you guys here i have an example um example post here that i put in for example purposes now i'm just gonna and it says here you can comment you can send message or you can comment your favorite flavor so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna comment say let me put it as my account Okay, let me comment as my favorite flavor is say chocolate, chocolate. Okay, I send the message, I send, I, I comment my favorite flavor, and then what happens now is you guys will see I get a message that comes in straight away from the page saying, "Hey Molly, happy birthday! Just message birthday, and I'll get you your free gift." So I'm gonna message birthday. And now, because I've already gone through the flow, it's gonna say it looks like you've already registered for your birthday gift. But if I if I haven't gone through the flow, then it's gonna show me. This message from the start, happy birthday, Molly. What's your email? What's your number? All this stuff, okay? So they can click send message on the ad or they can comment and it automatically get them through the flow. So now I'm gonna show you guys how all this information is put all together and it's in a report. And as this is something you guys can show your, your client at the end of the month or however long their campaign goes for. And it's something you guys can keep track of to see how much people have come in, all the kind of information, the names, emails, phone numbers, all that stuff. So it's good for retargeting and obviously for the client because they're able to do so much with it in the future because people's birthdays are always running. So next, this time next year or whenever whenever you guys run the campaign, they can send a text message to them. They can send them an email. They don't need to pay for more Facebook ads. So it just builds up their list. Now I'm gonna show you guys the Excel spreadsheet. So as you guys can see here, these are, um, it's blurred out at the moment, but it's gonna have um, full name, first name, last name, phone number, email, messenger ID, gender, birthday that they put in and if they're a first time customer or not so as you guys can see here majority of these people that we got were first time customers all the greens are first time customers others are no they've been there before so this is something very strong obviously because if you're running a campaign for a, a, a restaurant any kind of business an ice cream place um a chiropractor anything it is you'd want to be trying to get them um new customers because a lot of people offer a lot of businesses offer things but only for first time customers because they do these offers to try and acquire new customers so as you guys can see here it shows everything with um first time customers no first time customers we got over 187 people in just over two weeks and then there's a tab here for birthday and a tab for redemptions now when i go to the redemptions tab it's going to show me the amount of money these guys have spent so five dollars five dollars six eighty so where i should where, where i put in the amount spent in messenger it, it shows that it shadow it takes that data and puts it into here so all up if you guys were just to highlight over all this quickly highlight over all um it shows the sum again one thousand five hundred dollars and eighty five cents in just over two weeks so i've showed you guys the picture the ad that people see on facebook before they go for the flow and then i showed you guys the flow that people go through the questions they're asked the questions they're asked and then i showed you guys obviously here the where the information is gathered where all the information is gathered where it is the full name first name last name phone email gender how much how much money they spent are they a first time customer all that gets tracked in the Excel document sheet, and that's something you guys can print out or email over to your client. And it's just a report, a made for your report every single month or however long you guys are running a, a marketing campaign for your client. So, yeah, it's very simple and easy, and you guys should definitely jump onto it. Now, we've created a program which includes all these chatbot flows as part of the templates that anyone can install and have the whole campaign running in less than 30 minutes. We're currently looking for beta students to jump on board. Learn how these templates can be installed seamlessly and how you can get the results like this for your clients in less than 30 minutes. You don't need to have any experience at all. If you click the, if you click the first link in the description, you may maybe still be able to join our test group where, we, where you can get access to a powerful range of chatbot templates that take you less than 30 minutes to have up and running. You'll have access to a range of video tutorials running through every chatbot template as well as a range of resources to help you get your new clients for your agency. If this sounds like something you're interested in, simply click the first link in the description and you'll go through a page where you can get more information on exactly what you'll be getting if you join our program. Our purpose here at Moe Digital is to help social media marketers utilize the power of Facebook Messenger and get the best possible results for their clients using Facebook Messenger chatbots. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. If you guys found any value from this video, please consider smashing that like button and hitting that subscribe button so you're always informed when I upload a new video which can help you get serious results for your clients.